。十五萬五千多名嘅聯邦公務員喺全國大罷工進入第二日，咁政府同工會都冇更新談判進度。而喺渥太華等地嘅政府機構外，拉起罷工九拆線嘅工會成員就高舉標語、高叫口號，表達訴求。李永儀嘅報導。加拿大公共服务联盟进入第二日嘅罢工行动，被视为系本国有史以嚟最大规模嘅一次。工会继续喺全国超过二百五十个地点设立纠察线，要求政府答应接落嚟三年内加薪百分之十三点五，以及提高工作待遇等条件。We need a reasonable wage offer. We worked all through COVID. We're continuing to work, whether it's from home or in the office. We're continuing to put everything out there, but we haven't had a pay increase or a contract since 2021. 十五万五千多名公务员罢工，明显影响多项政府服务，某啲服务更可能中断，尤其系申办护照、移民申请处理以及邮寄报税以及 Service Canada 嘅服务。包括申領就業保險金以及邊境過關會延誤，好似喺卑斯省依間 Service Canada 辦事處唔再接受新嘅護照申辦，只提供緊急服務，導致當日唔少人無法辦理。It's really frustrating because、um, there has been delay in getting my citizenship and everything. Now there's delay in getting the passport, which should not be a problem. 近埋下議院反對黨保守黨抨擊自由黨政府無能。Even before the strike, these liberals were breaking records, creating massive backlogs at passport offices, Service Canada, airports, and immigration. And apparently, not even the public servants could stand this liberal government's incompetence anymore. 国务局局长福蒂埃就回应 ：We are committed to reaching agreements that are competitive, that are fair to the public servants, but also. That are reasonable for Canadians, and we also, as a government, believe that they have a right to strike, and we will be working with them to make sure, because we're continuing at the table to get to a deal. 自由党政府话对达成协议保持希望，不过罢工持续几耐备受关注。自由党系少数党执政，而同自由党有信任供给协议嘅新民主党已表明唔会支持复工法。保守黨亦未承諾支持此類立法。